Hello and welcome to this new trip report. My name is Patrick and today I'm in Manila in the Philippines about to board my Philippine Airlines flight on their 777 to Singapore which is a three hour flight and I'm very much looking forward to my first Philippine Airlines flight in economy class today. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would love to see you too and there's a whole bunch of videos coming of my around the world trip I'm currently on so this is the last stop before the New Year's Eve Today is the 31st of December and I will watch the fireworks for the New Year's celebration in Singapore later, if everything goes right. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to come along. See you later. Like everybody told me, there was no queue at all, so now I got my boarding pass, I changed my seat to a more forward seat, and the luggage is dropped off, and now I have about three hours until the departure to Singapore. And the bad news is they don't have a priority pass lounge in this terminal, so they have one in terminal one and three, and this is terminal two. So. After passing the security checks, I had exactly three hours left until departure, and there was not much to do in the terminal. As I changed too much money when I arrived here, I got some spare money left and invested it in a massage, which was good. However, the massage was pretty expensive at almost $30. After my massage, I got something to eat and had a chat with some Philippine Airlines pilots, which were really cool. Sadly, they were not flying on my flight. Jeez, this boarding takes forever. I mean, it's many people, but still, it takes too long. Hello. Welcome aboard this Philippine Airlines 777. This is the business class in a 232 configuration with a total of 42 seats. And further in the back is the economy class in a 343 configuration with a total of 328 seats. For the 3 hour journey to Singapore I selected the seat 52 Alpha, which is a window seat. And let's have a look at the seat together. Each seat has a movable headrest, which is nice. And already on each seat was a pillow and some headphones. The leg room was quite good for me. I'm 1 meter and 76 tall. In the seat pocket in front of me there were some safety cards and an inflate entertainment magazine as well as some duty free shopping. The tray table is foldable and was nice and clean. There's a personal entertainment screen at each seat which has a reasonable big size and has a good resolution which is nice. And also there's a USB port in the headphone jack right underneath next to the coat hanger. Sadly there was no universal power outlet under the seat.
the in-flight entertainment system worked great. However, there were only 40 movies available on my flight. The moving map by Voyager 3D was very nice and you could see the projected route of our flight today. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back and relax. We're about to take off. We hope you enjoyed this in-flight safety video made by the Filipino, for the Filipino and for the world. Mabuhay from Philippine Airlines, the heart of the Filipino. As we climb out of Manila in the Philippines, heading to Singapore, let's have a look at today's route. We will cover a distance of 2,545 kilometers or 1,580 miles and it will take us about 3 hours and 9 minutes today at an altitude of 36,000 feet. Soon after departure the cabin crew came around and served a hot meal for this flight. There was a choice between two meals and I decided to go for the chicken and rice with vegetables, which tasted great. On the side they served some pasta salad, some dried mangoes, a refreshing towel, a bun with butter, And for the drinks I went for some Sprite and red wine. The cutlery is plastic, but it was pretty good quality. And for dessert they served some avocado ice cream, which I've never heard about. All in all, it was a really nice meal. Changi International Airport. 
are now 200 miles east of Changi International Airport. It is weather report for Singapore. It is reported to be partly cloudy. While we start our approach into Singapore airport, let me tell you about the ticket price I paid for this one-way flight from Manila to Singapore, which is a three-hour flight. I paid 170 euros and the conversion rates are on the screen right now. So we made it to Singapore, now obviously the first stop for me is going to be to check out the Jubal because I haven't seen that. The last time I was here it was still under construction and after that I will head to the city, go to my hotel and then find a nice spot for the fireworks today. So if you stay tuned you will see that in this video as well.